Hey up everybody, uh, I'm just about to do another trial with my injector, um, in my previous video uh, it was still being erratic and uh, I, I won't have much success. Now this is a, a point to watch for anybody that's building one of these. Um, when I did this, when I started this probably five years back now, I was a, I was a complete novice. I'd never built a steam locomotive before. I don't think I'd ever built anything in steam. In fact, um, so I just used the Sweet Pea book to make this. I didn't have any drawings. Um, I just used the drawings that were inserted in the book. So I didn't have a full set of drawings. And when it came to the uh, clack valves, um, I think there was some missing information in, in the book and um, I did a bit of guesstimating with them well since then I'm you know I've, I've obviously learning as I go along I'm on a learning curve um, I've since then found out that the lift on the ball for the light valves should be um, approximately a third of the diameter of the ball and the lift on the mechanical pumps, that's the actual pump and the hand pump, should be between one eighth and one sixth of the diameter of the ball in the clack valve. So I've had all my, I've had all my uh, clack valves off and I've, I've re-measured them. And I found out that my actual pump and my hand pump, the lift was too much. That's probably, like, that's probably why it's squawking like a, a duck on axle pump um, so I've adjusted them down to um, within that one eighth and one sixth range so my hand pumps now are round about 30, 32 thou and my axle pumps round at about just over 25 thou the lift on the ball now the injector um, although it's close to a third, this clack valve, it was 50 thou. I think it should be really 60, 60 something. So I've upped, I've increased the lift on the ball on the clack valve on the injector. I was going to go to 62 thou, 16th, that's a third of the ball diameter. But what I've decided to do, in my wisdom, I'm going to go a little bit more and then I'm going to work my way back down if I have to. So I've gone up to 90 thou, which is a bit more than a third. It's in between a third and a half, isn't it, lift. So uh, I'm going to steam it up again, I'm going to use my gas. If you've not seen me use my gas before, take a look at my previous videos and uh, I'm not going to show you me the procedure for steaming it up. Again, that's in my previous videos. Uh, so I'm just going to get it steamed up and give this injector another try on this um, different lift for the ball. I've increased the lift. So... Uh, Watch this space and we'll have another try. Oh, and just before I continue with this, um, I've just had Postman deliver me these. Uh, it's come from one of my fellow YouTubers. It's 10 sticks of solder. Um, it's come from Stuart. Uh, I think Stuart saw me soldering my um, water tender up a while back now and uh, he messaged me and said he'd got quite a lot of solder that he's probably never going to use would have liked some so uh, Stuart's kindly sent me these 10 sticks so thank you very much for that Stuart it's much appreciated uh, don't, it'll come in very handy but I don't know when I'll be using it all uh, but it will get used eventually I'm sure so uh, thanks very much Stuart much appreciated
still no complete success there. It's uh, I think it's better than it was last time. Uh, I think what I'll do, I'll just keep playing around with this lift on this flat valve. So uh, when I put my finger on it, I can feel there is some there is some water going in. I can see it bouncing on gauge glass. Uh, but it's just not picking up fully. Well, I've just let Loco cool down a little bit now, and uh, I'm still having no success with that. Uh, just off camera, I didn't show this, but I did take my clack valve off and I did various adjustments of the uh, lift on the ball. It still, it still really didn't make any difference. Um, I think it were a bit better with it being a bigger lift, but you know, not much difference. Anyway, I still, I've still got a bit of a plan. I'm going to, um, oh, and, and you know, for anybody messaging me saying, make sure you've got no uh, air leaks from your, from my tank to me injector. I, I've done all that numerous times. Uh, I've got this separate tank going to me injector with cold water, so I'm not, I'm not using my, my pannier tanks. Um, so. I've got a bit of a, another plan here which I'm going to I'm going to do them one at a time I'm not going to do them both together uh, this valve unit here that's that's on I've got one valve that supplies water from my tanks which I I never use that really and then I've got this other valve that comes from my uh, tender and then they combine in this one valve here to come through this one pipe so I can either have both on together or one at, one on at a time they do isolate from each other so what I'm going to do uh, in case there's any air leaks in these valves which I can't find or in case the water flow is not sufficient to come through this arrangement I'm going to bypass all this water and I'm just going to couple straight into the pipe into my injector from my, from my water tank so I, I want to do that next I'll get it steamed up next and do and try that and then if that fails I might put a bigger valve on my uh, steam valve that sends steam to my injector so I've still got a couple of you know uh, options to go at anyway uh, if you found that interesting and useful or uh, enjoyable, give me a thumbs up and a subscribe, I'd appreciate that. And I'll catch you on this next episode of my Injector Woes. Thanks for watching then, bye for now.